AFC Mash Bowl Casserole. I'm really, really too nice. This right here is just so easy to make and it's so filling. And like KFC, you really can't see me. So, first, cut up some chicken breast. We're going to hit it with some yellow mustard. No, you do not taste the mustard. Then we're going to slide in with two eggs because I got mad chicken in here. Then we're going to just use our hand and just get that well, well, well incorporated. And I pulled my bracelets back too before I say, You're wearing bracelets. You got to shut up. Shut up. So, boom, hit it with that. And I hit it with the National Bev Association starting five. Just got that all in there, well seasoned. And then you look at it, come on, like it's seasoned. The food got to be seasoned. You feel me? So now for the gravy. I don't know how y'all make gravy, but my gravy be fire. Melt some butter, then you're going to hit it with a cornstarch slurry. The cornstarch slurry is to basically make it thick. And I know some people probably use like chicken broth. I really don't like, water just does fine for me. Once it get real, real thick, hit it with like a cap full of gravy master. Season that with some garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and some beef bouillon, and some white pepper. And look how thick it got. And you can see all the flavor inside the grape. Come on. Listen, when I say my hand was hurting, I have a little hand. Like, I don't have big hands. Mashing up all these potatoes that i didn't even really need because i got so much left over i boiled the whole bag i don't know why i did that but i got some left over my hand was hurting like oh my god i had to cut the camera off and just like move everything out of my way and just like hold the pot down and really do it and get everything well incorporated so i was really going for like a smooth kind of like creamy mash i like my mashed potatoes sometimes but like lumped in the two so i won't mash it all the way but for the for the casserole i definitely mashed it all the way hit it with some garlic powder white pepper and a little bit of salt salt is needed mashed potatoes is really like you do everything in moderation so you add some seasoning then you add a little bit of milk butter and then you just stir it and then once it gets smooth you're good now we're gonna throw the chicken in the bag and now we're gonna fry it nice and crispy i don't know what's been going on with me in the kitchen listen to me i fried the chicharron and i fried the chicken today i dipped my hand too much into that grease almost burnt my goddamn hand now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just assemble it so i got like this pyrex uh oven safe dish Boom, right? Put the mash on the bottom. Just shape it up. I like extra corn in my mash bowl from KFC, so I'm definitely going to put extra corn in this. Like, it's just so fire. Then I'm going to throw chicken on the top. My chicken, I don't know. Like, and I really freestyle, like, the seasoning. You got to have that eye for it. Like, I, I got the eye for it. Like, I'm really, really too nice. So throw your chicken on there. You could throw as much as you want, but I kind of want it to be like a perfect layer to where it's like you just like get like a corner of it and everything is perfect. Throw some Kobe Jack cheese on there. I ain't feel like getting the mozzarella and the cheddar. And this is freshly shredded cheese too. So I definitely want to go for like that fresh vibe. Everything from scratch probably, except from the corn. The corn was in the can, but I wanted everything from scratch. KFC cannot relate. Come on, throw that gravy on the top after you pop it in the oven. And this look fire. Oh my God. And I got a question. How much Kool-Aid do y'all be keeping in your house? Because this is how much my mother keep, and this is sick. But you know I got to better stop playing me for real.